Hi, my name's Debbie, and today I want to talk about going over an exercise known as the counter bend, or sometimes it's called reverse trotting. And the purpose for this exercise is to be able to control your horse's body position, particularly its shoulders um, and its front feet, to free up its chin and its hip, and be able to put your horse in the position that you need it to be in uh, for some of the maneuvers that we have to do. So we start out by walking a circle to the left, just a small circle, and then you can pick up your outside rein, your right rein, and you want your hand to come a little bit towards your right hand, a little bit towards your left shoulder so that you get your horse's chin to the right and it picks that shoulder up as opposed to walking a circle and having your horse out here which just brings the head around but doesn't really help you control the shoulder. So you want to walk a circle, start by walking a circle to the left and you're going to pick your right hand up and move it towards your left shoulder and you can see how this mare gives her chin and it picks that shoulder up. Your left hand just can be opening up and helping to guide that shoulder. So you start by that and this helps you get that horse's chin free and those shoulders picked up for a lot of the different maneuvers. And then once you get that freed up, you can go up to a jog in a little bit bigger circumference of a circle and basically do the same thing. The degree of difficulty is a little harder here. And you just want to keep kind of easing your horse forward, picking that shoulder up. You can use your left hand to kind of lead. And then you can just jog around to the right. And you just reverse it. You'll pick up your outside hand and you'll bring it to your inside shoulder. And keep that jog going forward. And this lifts the horse's shoulder and rib cage up and over. And then your opposite hand, you just keep it kind of low. And you just check in with it here and there if that neck gets a little too high. And then you get where you can almost figure eight it. This exercise helps a lot of maneuvers. It'll help the lead change because you'll have control of your horse's shoulders when you have to go across the pin and change leads. You don't want them ducking that shoulder into the direction they're changing. You want their shoulders to be straight ahead so you can position that hip and push it over. It's also instrumental in the turnaround to keep the whole, be able to control the horse's shoulders and rib cage in the turnaround so that they don't drop their shoulder there and you can keep that chin picked up oh, when you're teaching that turnaround. It's also useful coming around the top of the pin, um, preparing for your rundowns again so that you can keep them from ducking their shoulders. Any place that you need to have, you know, the ability to position your horse, this is going to be helpful.